We have continuing coverage tonight on the possible changes coming to Lynchburg City Schools. The school system made a survey earlier this week to get opinions on that proposal. ABC 13's Rachel Tillipa joins us live from the LCS Administration Building. And Rachel, you spoke with parents about this. I did, Kelsey, and parents that I spoke with are pretty split. Some are nervous about the proposed changes, but some are all on board. I'm actually kind of nervous about all of the changes. Hoping some good will come out of it, but I'm not really, I'm not sure yet. I think that it will affect her in a positive way. That's the reaction from Lynchburg City School parents about the district's proposed changes for the upcoming school year. One of the biggest changes, a time shift for elementary and high school students. Some parents, like Joanna Derenbacker, support the switch. She gets up right now and leaves um, sometimes before I even wake up um, in the morning. So she's usually at the bus by 640. So I think starting a little bit later will be better for her, her health. Others say leave it be. Kind of like the time they have now. I think any later, we did later before, and that, that, that's just, that's too hard. That's too long for them to be in school. Another proposed change involves the schedule for middle school and high school students. The system wants to transition to a seven period style school day. So for my middle schooler, I think that the traditional seven block period will be great for her. However, she believes the AB block schedule works better for her other student. For high school, uh, my freshman is um, in AP classes, she's a student athlete, and so for her, having that, she gets to have a study hall um, because she has eight periods. And you can still weigh in on this survey if you're a part of the LCS community. And if you head to our website, WSET.com, you can see more specific details about these proposals. Live in Lynchburg, Rachel Silicon, ABC 13 News. Thanks for watching the ABC 13 YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos and live coverage and local stories, click to subscribe and download our ABC 13 News app.